Hey guys, this is Jerry Mingle, the Lawn Care Specialist. Today we're going to be doing a little bit of mowing, uh, but our main focus today is going to be right here. We're going to be doing some weed control today, and I'm going to show you the ins and outs of it, and uh, different techniques and different chemicals uh, that you can use in your yards and your flower beds. Alright guys, first we're going to talk about equipment. We've got our four gallon sprayer over here, our rubber gloves, which definitely don't want these chemicals over here getting on your hands. <clears throat> we've got safety glasses, uh, which you definitely don't want it, this stuff getting in your eyes. Um, and then we got over here on the left, we got prosecutor, which is a uh, non selective herbicide. And what that means is it pretty much kills anything that it gets on. Um, then we've got our tracker die over here. All that does is just lets us know where we spray it already. And uh, it doesn't take much of that at all. It, it turns the grass kind of a bluish color, um, but it does let us know where we've, where we've already sprayed. That way we don't double applicate. Um, and then we've got the mention over here, which is a pre-emergent. Once we spray this, the prosecutor is going to kill everything. And where we don't want any weeds or any grass or anything like this, such as where we're at now, um, which would be a mulch bed, even though there's no mulch here. Um, but we're going to put down the prosecutor to kill, kill anything that's in here. And we're going to put down the pre-emergent um, at the same time to keep the seeds that are on the ground right now, the weed seeds, from popping up. Alright guys, so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to put on our gloves. Alright. <clears throat> Each time you mix something first thing you want to do is you want to fill up uh, your spray can a third of how much total liquid you're going to put in it. Um, today we're going to be spraying about a 2,000 square foot area. Um, so we're only going to put one third of that in there currently and then we're going to put our chemicals and our tracker dye in there and we're going to fill it the rest of the way up and then we're going to agitate it. We're not going to use a surfactant today, um, which you can buy surfactants at the same place that you buy the chemicals, but all surfactant is really is just dish soap. Dish soap. Alright guys, so for our dimension, we're going to put in 0.73 fluid ounces per thousand square feet and we're doing two thousand square feet worth of spraying we can't get it exactly on the 0.73 so we're just going to round up to about three quarters of a fluid ounce we're doing two thousand square feet so we're going to double that to one and a half fluid ounces prosecutor you put down two and a half fluid ounces per thousand square feet so we're going to go with five fluid ounces for our total application today Alright, so as you can see, we've got our one and a half fluid ounces of dimension and five fluid ounces of prosecutor that we're all going to mix together. Um, now you have to be careful uh, about mixing things. Some things are not compatible with others and you can find all this information on the label that comes on the front of the bottle. I keep all of my labels in one area together, that way if I have a question about a certain chemical, I can go to that one place and find the label for that bottle and then look up the information I need and they're all in one specific area. Now the bottles, like this dimension, it still has a label on it underneath of that booklet that comes with it. So you don't have to worry about that. So we've got our tracker die, which is also made by Lesco, and I bought all these chemicals down at Site One. They're awesome people. If you have any questions about chemicals, they can answer them for you. If you have any kind of weeds that you don't know what the name of it are, you can actually pull it out of your, your yard, take it over to them, 
and uh, they'll be able to tell you what kind of weed it is and what you need in order to take care of it. guys once you've got your spray application on the ground you want to go ahead and let it dry uh, for at least an hour um, the best time frame is about 24 hours but if all you have is an hour um, as long as it dries you're good to go because you want the prosecutor to have a chance to dry onto the leaves and absorb into the plant because it doesn't work instantaneously it works over the course of about seven to ten days um, and this is the exact same product I used at my house um, because I don't use any products on any clients or family's uh, yards that I haven't used at my own house. Um, so like I said, it's a great product. It works. Um, uh, it's safe for dogs and children after it dries. Something else that you might want to keep in mind when spraying the wind. You definitely want to keep track of the wind. Ample conditions under five miles an hour but if you can get down to zero miles an hour best is no wind because what you'll have is overspray and overspray especially when it comes to non-selective herbicides again that's it doesn't care what it touches it kills. When it comes to non-selective herbicides if that drift gets on any other plant life it's killing it. It doesn't matter whether it's tree leaves, uh, flowers, bushes, it's killing it all. Um, as far as the selective herbicides, you have a little bit more leeway, but still you don't want to have a lot of overspray when you're dealing with all these different chemicals. Because you don't know where exactly all that overspray is going. Alright guys, what we did today was we did what's called a broadcast spray. And that was coating the whole area of application evenly you also have what's called a spot treatment and that's just for if you have turf grass or, or something you just want to kill small patches of different uh, pests that's what you would use a spot spray for but if you're trying to kill everything in a specific area or you're trying to apply like say a pre-emergent that has to be done in a broadcast or blanket spray that way you cover the whole area if not you're gonna have weeds popping up everywhere that you didn't get